Hey, welcome back to Indie Now, friends. Jillian's been getting pampered out at D.L. Lowry's amazing new salon all morning. It's a rough life, really. Now we're going to her. Jillian, how's it going, friend? Hey, Ryan, it's going great. I know, like you said, I'm feeling pretty good on a Monday that I get to hang out in this beautiful salon here. D.L. Lowry, we've been talking about it. You know the name, and I'm hanging out with the owner here, David. We're talking about trends, and David, I love this because we were saying a while back is really when we started to see a lot of long hair, but those trends do change. They do change, and the thing about trends is, you know, um, used to be fashion runway was the trend of, you know, years ago, they, they, every time a season would come out, we would go, well, what's new? It's a bang or it's a layered or whatever, but really trends are really what the movies are made of today. And it's like the actresses and actors of, of the movies really what moves fashion forward now. Uh, it's so different. And if you look at the movies that are coming out, you're seeing the actresses with shorter hair yeah. and uh, they're cutting it off. So, you know, and, and that's, the, that's the trend. I mean, yeah. people like, you know, fashion just goes in a complete circle. And it's just uh, where you, where you're at in that in that moment. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't mean you're outdated because you have long hair. Whew, good. Whew. Yeah, there yeah. you go. I'm so good. I mean, yeah. it, it's just you know, <laughs> people just like change. Yeah. So you know, that's the cool thing about yeah. fashion. Oh well, we really appreciate you having us here, and oh, I'm excited to learn a little gosh. more because we have an award-winning stylist, Stephen Moody, educating the women here behind me. But before we get to that. Can we bring up this before picture? We showed you last time we checked in. This is Taryn. Before she got her hair cut, I'm going to walk on over here to check in with Hannah and Taryn so that we can reveal the look. And here we have it. Taryn, our model, looking absolutely gorgeous. How are you feeling? Feeling great. <laughs> feeling like a whole new person. <laughs> uh, I love the dark hair. It really makes your eyes pop. And I want to talk to Hannah about what we did here. Yeah, we brought Taryn's length up. It was really long and just one length. And then we added some short shag layers to give her texture and movement so she can style it super fun. And adding those fringe bangs really pop, make her eyes pop. Yeah, I know that uh, we're seeing a look right now, and I know we saw a before picture, but Taryn was just sending me a photo, and she's got blonde hair in it, and I'm blown away at the difference that it really makes. I mean, Roxy, look at this. This is what she sent me. I'm like, she looks beautiful both ways, but just absolutely gorgeous. Give us some helpful information. So if somebody is maybe looking for a style like this, what should they ask their stylist for? They should definitely ask their stylist for shorter texture layers, nothing that's too perfect. Yeah. Um, something where she can have tees and that short textured curl, um, some longer fringe, how she wants to pull her hair back and have some fringe. But yeah, yeah. just lots of movement. Yeah, lots Taryn, how do you feel about styling this? Because I know a lot of women can relate that you're like, when I go home, am I going to be able to make it look this good? So what have you learned? Surprisingly, it's a lot easier than I thought. Um, it took me less than 10 minutes to curl this morning. Um, so it, it's so much lighter, easier to work with. So very happy with it um, and highly recommend it. Well, you look absolutely beautiful. It looks great on you. Thank you for sharing a little bit more about how you did this. I'm feeling a little inspired, you know, after talking to Taryn. So I think I'm going to sit down in the chair. And David, could we bring Steven over here? Yeah. It's a little bit more about Steven. If you missed our last segment, he is known for leading the industry. I mean, I'm talking Vidal Sassoon, Wella, all these hair brands that you know. All right, Steven Moody, what would you do? What would you do with this hair? I think you'd look amazing with something that's shoulder length and above. You think? And shoulder length and above is something that's very, very much on trend. And I think if we combine that shoulder length and above with texture, so some really loose, soft, pretty layers. Um, Maybe yeah. if, it, if I could kind of, if you want to come behind me, we could yeah. kind of work in the camera. Through yeah. There. I'll be careful of you, Mike. Oh, yeah. I'll just hold the mic up here. So yep. I think something that's kind <laughs> oh, of stacked Ooh. in this direction, something yeah. that's got some width in here, but most it. importantly of all, something that's loose and got some texture and movement through here. Yeah. yeah I think that would really kind of draw out the cheekbones. I just love your smile. Thank you. I love your bones. Oh, well, thank these you. These cheekbones. <laughs> and these cheekbones are going to be accentuated with this width. Through Ooh, here. So I think a big transformation would yeah. be cool. What we could do in a salon scenario, yeah. we could do that transformation in steps. Yes. So anytime people are mm -hmm. going from this length of hair mm -hmm. to this length of hair to a pixie, we can do it in steps. Yeah. Not everybody 
wants to or is comfortable transforming their head in one go. Yeah. Well, thank you and thank you, David, for holding oh. that. I'm feeling a lot better since I'm in the hands of these experts here. So, you know, maybe I'll get a little change going for now. Ryan, I'll have to send it back to you.